All right, so we're gonna make a very realistic self-portrait and we're gonna do this by tracing the lines of our face from our yearbook picture. So I've printed off your yearbook picture nice and big on 11 by 17. Tape it down with a piece of masking tape onto a couple of pieces of transparency tape or transparency paper that's been taped together to be 11 by 17. Now what I'm tracing with here is a wet erase marker. It's a Visa V pen wet erase. Make sure it's a wet erase that's very important to this process. And you're just tracing the outlines, the lines of all of your face, and the outline of your hair, the outline of your head, the line of your eyebrows, the line of your um, eyes there, just the line, and then the nose is a little tricky there. You just do the bottom of the nose, the outline of the lips, don't draw in the individual teeth or you'll look like you have weird buck teeth. Also make sure you get the lines of your clothes too, otherwise you will look naked. So you want to make sure that you draw all of these lines in and even the lines of your shoulders and your armpits so it looks like you have arms. Now if you make a mistake, and you're very likely to make a mistake, especially if this is your first time doing this, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to get a Q-tip wet on one side to erase and then on the other side it's dry to clean it up. And you want to make sure that when you clean it up that you wipe it with a Q-tip until the white until the Q-tip comes away clean. So it has to be completely cleaned up because any smudgy that's left will show up on the print on your paper because we're going to be using these as prints. Flip it over and make sure it looks right. Now my face looks a little small, my head looked a little small, so I'm going to try again. I'm going to erase it. I'm going to make sure that I really clean up all of the erase marks. So you might need to get another Q-tip to make sure it is really cleaned up when you make your mistake. So that it comes away completely clear after you're wiping it. If you're coming away with any black marks, get another one and wipe it some more until it comes away clean. Then flip it over and check it. Make sure it looks good. Once you think it makes looks good, you can see how there's still some smudges there. So you're going to tear it off. Make sure that the uh, tape stays on because the tape is the side that has the ink on it. Clean up any smudges that you see because you can see those smudges when it's against white paper. So make sure you clean up any smudges because it will show up once we print these. All right. Once it's perfect. You're ready to print and you're going to bring it up to the teacher to print. The teacher will have a bottle of uh, a spray bottle with water. All it is is water. You spray the construction paper with water and you wipe away the water because you don't want too much water. You just want it to soak into the paper a little bit. Flip it over so that flip the so that the ink is facing the paper. Roll the ink onto the paper. And then when you pull it away, you have a perfect print. And there is a drawing of yourself. Now once these dry, they are super, super, super curly. So you need an adult. The teacher will have to um, iron it and then roll it the opposite direction that it wants to curl to flatten it out. Then once it's nice and flat, and you might have to curl it backwards going both ways and a nice tight roll going the opposite direction. It is now time to color in. Now people are brown. They're all different shades of brown, but all people are just brown. It's just a matter of finding which brown in the crown box uh, matches your skin. So nobody is white like this crown here, and nobody is black like this crown here. So you need to figure out what kind of shade of brown you are, and use your arm because your hands um, especially for those of us that are pale, our hands get red when we're using them. So once you've figured out which color you want, um, you're going to get that color and then the color right that, or that's darker than that, slightly darker, because you're going to do the shades of all the shadows need to be colored in slightly darker. Now we're using a drawing mat because um, for 
most of the skin you want to just use the side of the crown and very lightly lightly hold the crown and color it on the side because when you push down hard um, that can show the lines shadows wrinkles of your face so see how I'm using two different shades um, to color in the shades of my face and then some green eyes and some pupils and um, now it's time to color in the lips. Now everybody is has uh, pink lips so we're going to add a little bit of pink and then a little bit more of the uh, of that skin tone that you use. So you add a little of the um, pink that I have here and a little bit of the skin tone on top because what's cool about colors is that you can uh, shade them on top of each other. All right, now I'm gonna show a lot of different kinds of hair color here. We're gonna start off with blonde me. I'm not blonde, but uh, I need to show you guys how to do blonde. So I've got uh, dandelion and I've got goldenrod, and then I've also got some brown. Because even if you're blonde, you're going to have low lights. Um, and so you're gonna use brown to uh, show those low lights. So yellow and then some brown and then yellow and then some brown. And then that shows the full depth of your hair color with the highlights and the low lights. Um, then I'm just gonna color it in and I'm gonna color it in the same color my outfit was when um, I took this picture for picture day at school, which is one option that you have. All right, and now I'm going to show you uh, how to color it in if you have a dark complexion. So again, uh, these are very, very curly, so um, it has to be ironed flat by an adult and rolled backwards the other way. Once you have it though, um, you're going to go through the same process. You're just going to pick out a different skin tone. So you get out all the skin tone, all the browns that you can find, and you find the color that best uh, suits you, that looks the most like your arm color. So again, you're taking out the black and the white, um, and you find the darker browns. And sometimes it's also easier if you color it out on the back of your paper using the side of the crown, um, and then laying your arm next to it. So sometimes it's, it's easier to find your exact brown if you actually color it out on the paper. All right, so I'm going to color myself in in a darker complexion. Again, I'm using the side of the crown uh, so that it goes on evenly. It looks like a, a nice even tone because when we push down with the point of the crown it makes it much darker like that and then I use one shade darker to color in my shadows and um, any other uh, low lights like the side of my nose or my smile lines again you use a pink and then you color over the pink for the uh, lips color in the eyes and the pupils and then the hair. And uh, the hair you're gonna first color in brown because even if you have like black hair, you're still going to have highlights of, um, of brown. So color it in and then go over it with the black crown. And then that gives it that rich um, depth that hair has of all of those highlights and lowlights. If you start off with brown and then go over it. Now, here on one side, I'm gonna do it so that it's straight black hair and then on the other side I'm going to do curly black hair. So add the brown and then you just use curl lines like they use these wavy lines if you want it to look more curly. So and if you decide you want to curl your hair you can add some wavy lines afterwards. And finish up the sides there adding a shadow and there I am um, more darkly complected. Now, you do not have to color in um, the clothing exactly the way it was when you took the picture. I want this picture to be more representative of really who I am, and I'm always wearing my art apron. So I'm gonna actually color in my art apron with some pens and paint brushes sticking out uh, the front pocket like it usually is. And I have a blue um, denim art apron that I always wear, so I'm gonna color that in, blue denim art apron like that. 
and I am almost always wearing a t-shirt because it is uh, very warm in the art room here. So I'm going to uh, color in sleeves that uh, are short sleeves because as an artist I can do that. I can uh, manipulate the way it uh, was really taken to the way it really is. So uh, that's one of the really cool things about um, art is that you can make, uh, you can change the reality of things. So even though this picture was not taken with short sleeves, I can just simply add short sleeves, just like that. Of course, using the same skin tones. And that's how you color in a self-portrait with crowns for both light and dark complexions.